Hey, what's going on guys? So for today's review, we've got the 18 foot tall colossal two-story Grinch. This is an inflatable that I've wanted to acquire for a long time now. Finally have it in my possession. It's really, really cool. But let me tell you a little bit about how I got this because if you know anything about this inflatable, the 18 foot Grinch is one that goes for a lot of money. And it's due to the fact that it was originally sold at Hamaker Schlimmer. And if you know anything about this good old site called Hamaker Schlimmer, they love to charge out the ass for inflatables and not, not just for inflatables, for everything that they sell. Just scroll on there for a few minutes and you're going to be thinking, okay, wow, like if I live in an apartment, um, that's, you know what, three months rent for like, I don't know, a pool float, something like that. So $400 was what this inflatable originally sold for. Then your inflatables got it. Me getting this off of eBay for such a great price was due to the fact that at the front of the torso, there's about, I don't know, 10, 11 inch rip. And that was pretty much the only flaw that this inflatable had. So I called up my aunt. I asked her, you know, would you fix this? And she did it. She stitched it up, put this pretty, I would say really, really close to the same color as the red on the Grinch uh, duct tape on it, just to seal it for extra protection. And it looks great. Uh, very, very hardly noticeable in the daytime, much more noticeable at night, but you'll see that here uh, towards the end of the video. And this inflatable unfortunately did not come with any stakes or tether, so I had to supply them myself. What I have here is the long, extra long, oh, I wouldn't say extra long, just the longer uh, colossal tethers. These actually came from my 16 foot 2016 toy soldier, which is, yeah, right there. It right now has the short tethers on it. I only have four. It uses eight, but I only have four because putting eight tethers on a 16 foot inflatable is excessive. What I have here is the actual base stakes for the tethers because if you know anything about the plastic stakes um, that they I think started using in 2017 if I'm correct they are too much of a pain to actually put in the ground and take out I mean it's not that difficult but there's really no point it's just so much easier to use the base colossal stakes for the actual tethers and what I have for the base of the inflatable is just two sod staples on each leg so yeah you can see right there and each leg has two because one is not enough I think two is pretty much the equivalent of having those base stakes on there. So yeah, the inflatable has uh, 67s, three of which were burned out, so I had to replace them. That was kind of a hassle because like one of them broke and I had to like put like the prong back in, that, that was annoying. But I have it all fixed now, it is ready to go, so let's go ahead and inflate it. <laughs> All right, so here it is, fully inflated, absolutely massive, just a huge inflatable. I will say though, I think my 18 foot jack feels just a little bit bigger, and that's only because up at the top with this hat, I don't know, I kind of feel like where the green meets the white is where I cap this inflatable's height off. Um, it feels more like a 16 footer. The hat just kind of cheats the 18 foot tag. I'm not gonna really hold it to that. I mean, at the end of the day, this is 18 feet tall. And that brings me to my next point of, really, how much should this inflatable cost? And I'm gonna say 250. The 18 foot jack sold for 250. I think we all kind of agree that, all right, that's a fair price. I mean, the Nutcrackers, they're 190, YEF 125, two feet taller. Yeah, 190 should be their price, but you gotta factor in the licensing and that, <laughs> that skyrockets the price. So 250. All right, 300 for this. Yard Inflatable will try to get away with selling it for that. They kind of did. I'm sure they did great in their sales, but that's too much. And then I think they upped it to 320 and obviously not. So $200 for this with its error right there. I feel really good, super satisfied with that. I would say basically, if you're trying to track one of these things down and not pay some ridiculous reseller on eBay, 400, 450, $500, then maybe just scour Facebook Marketplace or look for another one with some sort of issue. I, I mean, I don't know. It's gonna be hard for you to find, don't get me wrong. I mean, how I was able to obtain this was a fluke. So I would just say, keep searching. I mean, you have a whole other year till Christmas 2022 to track one of these things down. So it's got a YEF 125 colossal boom bounce fabric. It's the real deal in terms of inflating. It doesn't want to explode, but it inflates really tight. Now, it does have two tether attachments, two super heavy duty tether attachments at the bottom. One here and then one at the opposite side. Now what's great about these, unlike the Nutcrackers, they're getting a lot of screen time, these touch the ground. 
even not pulled at all, they are touching the grass. And that's great because the ones that the nutcrackers have, they're sown about right here. They're placed right here. And <laughs> there's no way you're pulling that all the way. You're pulling that about a foot down. That is not gonna happen. These, make sure you have just some sort of heavy duty stake. I would not recommend using sod staples that I have for the base of this inflatable. Don't do that. You can go to your like local hardware store, Lowe's, wherever, get like some tent stakes. You, you could use plenty of things. I would probably recommend something like the thicker staples, uh, the colossal metal stakes that I'm using for the tethers, or you could use those big plastic stakes as well. I actually have some tent stakes that I bought probably three years ago. Uh, they're yellow and that would work as well. Just make sure it is a pretty legit stake. That's all I'll say for that. So, I mean, it's a really, really great design. Um, it also has two zippers, forgot to mention that. This zipper, ironically, is about the same length as the tear at the front, so I thought that was kind of funny. The other zipper being at the base, so there you go. Just give you kind of a back view of it. I do apologize for just a little bit of wind today. Lately, it's been pretty terrible. We've had storms and rain and all that. This is the first day that the display's been up. Uh, I would say, partially, I'll say like 70% running in, I think, four nights, so. We're bouncing back, we're getting there, and we're gonna get some sunshine later this week to put the inflatables away, so yeah. Very, very nice design. For whatever reason, this is my like last little point I wanna make. My ornament on the one that I have, um, it's kind of stitched to where it faces up. I know like Lucas's, for example, looks just like the stock image where it's pretty much just facing the road. Mine faces the sky, so I don't know. Uh, the C7 inside, because there's a C7 in the ornament, the light strand to get to that pulls really, really tight. It's not wrapped around the fan. I made sure of that. I made sure it wasn't wrapped around anything, so I'm not really sure why that's the case. It just seems like it's a tight strand. The wire should be longer. I don't know. I just gotta be careful with it, and I don't think I'm really gonna have an issue. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, bye.